just having a blast today. Uh, Pal, still hanging out with me on the couch. Jill is joining us. Yay! Why is Jill joining us, you ask? What could she be the ultimate fan of? If you had to guess, would you say The Walking Dead? Because then you would be right. You are the winner of the, ulti like, the ultimate Walking Dead fan. Well, one half. One half of, <laughs> so you're 50% um, of the ultimate fan yeah. of Walking What is that actually, like, tell, for those who might not be familiar with The Walking Dead, what? What's the matter with you guys? But, I mean, to be the <laughs> ultimate fan of The Walking Dead, what does that mean? Um, you know, it's, this, is, this was their second annual competition, uh, contest, rather. And I think what drew them in the most was the story behind it. So I met my boyfriend at the season seven premiere. So it was mostly a sad day. We lost Glenn and Abraham. Uh, spoiler alert. alert. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, and I actually didn't even have a badge to get in. Wow. So uh, how did you get in? I, you know, I, I thought about it. I was like, take some zombies out, you know? <laughs> I, I cosplayed as Michonne. I said, I'm going to find someone who looks like they showed up alone, which I did. And I just asked them, you know, mind if I go in with you? Like, I just figured, like, why not take a chance? You know, I'm dressed as Michonne at the premiere. I felt pretty <laughs> good about it. You had, like, a plan. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so it was not luck. <laughs> <laughs> Having a game plan works to get you into those Walking Dead premieres. <laughs> and you could find the love of your life. Who knows? <laughs> and you could be the ultimate fan of The Walking Dead. What? So how did you, I mean, okay, so you dress up, you got your cosplay on, you get into the premiere, you meet your boyfriend, everything's going good, <laughs> and then there you see something, oh, they're advertising, they're going to do a contest to be the ultimate fan. Yeah, it was funny. It was actually um, his mom suggested that we do it. Um, oh. That we, you know, just, just do a video. And I, I actually had forgotten about the contest. And I was like, well, okay, well, why not? Like, we're, he cosplays as Rick. I cosplay as Michelle. Why not just go for it? And it just kind of snowballed. Like, let's just take a chance and do a thing. That's kind of how this whole thing started. So break it down. Like, put me there mentally. What is, what's happening in this video? How long is this video? Is this like a, an hour and a half long oh, movie no. that you guys made? Like a fan movie? Or is it just like a quick? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? That uh, was all you had? Yes. So you had to seconds. be the ultimate fan and show your ultimate fandom within a 30-second, half a minute span. Yeah, um, we actually a Rashon fan uh, edited it down for us to a nice tight 30 seconds, and we just quickly explained how we met and why we should be on the couch. So Rick and Rashon kind of started on a couch, so figured why not. Hey. And now you're on our couch. Yes, exactly. So a lot of couches <laughs> making things happen. Uh, so now that you have been dubbed the ultimate Walking Dead fan, one half of the Walking Dead fan, uh, what does that mean for you as the ultimate fan? Um, you know, it, it means a lot to me. I'm actually, I consider myself a professional fangirl. Like, you know, I've been coming to conventions since I was, okay, well, I'm going to put an age on it. Let's <laughs> say the last, like, 10 years. Yeah. And uh, as press and interviewing people. And to be, to be, like, I guess, acknowledged or validated, I guess, in this part of the fandom, a fandom that I love. Like, it, it means everything. It's, it's amazing. So I want to know, why The Walking Dead? What is the whole like thing that really just moves you because in my head I'm just like a zombie is a zombie you know but like what is it about The Walking Dead that you're just so passionate about? Well you know a lot of people think it's just about zombies and, and initially I did too because I come from the Buffy fandom oh, okay. and I was you know a lot of people say oh you should watch Twilight you should watch you know The Walking Dead and I was like you know just because I watched one genre doesn't mean I like this one but what's so amazing about The Walking Dead is that it's not about just their walkers, it's about the characters, it's about the evolution of a character. Mm -hmm. And I love like layers, I love like that gray area and we get to see all these wonderful, amazing characters fully developed transition and, and, and I think that's a really wonderful thing in terms of storytelling. So that's for me what captures, captures me most was Rick's story and getting to see the progression of all of these wonderful characters. So what was like the season that like grabbed you? Ooh, season five. Season, season five. five for sure. That, that was when you're like, soul done, sign me up. Every no turning episode. back. Yeah. No turning back. I, well, no, actually, well, okay. What signed me up was the pilot. Um, and, the, and the pilot was so amazingly well done. Uh, like, I just wanted to know what was going to happen to Rick. Like, Andrew Lincoln is such a fabulous actor. I'm so disappointed that he does not have an Emmy or even a nomination. Like, that's just so silly to me. You um, hear that? I mean, you're the Emmy ultimate fan. Judges? So I think if anyone can make any noise out there, it, it's you. Absolutely. I, I just, I just <laughs> think, I mean, 
the scene where he breaks down, like he's not sure if he's going crazy or if he's dead, and then hell, like he can't tell what's going on. Like he just captured me, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna totally keep watching now. Like that was the first show I binge watched because I didn't start watching till their season three, and my best friend convinced me, like, oh, you gotta check it out. So I was like, okay, fine, and I was like, okay, let's when we're gonna watch the next one, let's keep <laughs> it moving. Wow. So is this something where uh, when a new season comes out, you have to watch it the second it's on, or is this something you wait? and binge? I, you know, now that I'm all caught up, obviously, I, I watch it as it comes on because spoilers are so rampant. Evidence. I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah. I just want, I want to be in the moment. Because um, when a new episode is on, that's the Twitter and the Facebooks are like, oh my yeah. God, oh my God, oh my God, he, no, you can't kill him, they can't be dead, no. And I'm it's, like, what, what, what? Don't spoil. Don't say who or what or okay. why. People can't hold water. I mean, I don't blame them. They're really excited and passionate about the show, so you sure. want to express that online. And it's like you can't, you can't be on any type of social media if you're going to not <laughs> watch a show like that. You just can't. I, I don't know. My MySpace feed does not blow up at all when my <laughs> shows come on, which is great, which is why that's the only place I post anything. Uh, but no. Um, so when did you realize that, I mean, I love a lot of TV shows. I think I'm a fan of a lot of TV shows. But... Mm -hmm. When did you realize that you were sort of the ultimate, like, do you, like, know specific, like, very specific plot points to where you're, like, you remember everything? Or is it just, like, are you just catering to one character specifically? I'm like, I don't care what happens to anybody else. But if my character dies, oh, somebody's going to have to pay. I, well, luckily, my favorite character is Rick, so I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. But I don't know. I mean, I really liked Ed Stark in the first season. Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, that was Good old Ed Ard. Oh, well, you know, I... Ultimate fandom, what a lot of people don't know is that uh, I've been heavily involved in the Rashon part of the fandom long before, you know, season seven, long before I met Brandon. And, like, I, I write fan fiction. I've written essays about it. I've written articles about these characters because that's how dedicated I am. Like, you know, awesome. just in my own free time, like, let me just talk some more about this show. Like, it's just totally sucked me in. So uh, now being the ultimate fan, and the second ultimate fan, did you have to go up? against like the first Ultimate Fan? Do you guys like cross paths and like meet at any cons and be like, you used to be the Ultimate Fan, <laughs> but not anymore. I'm taking over, the crown is mine. No, I, I, I have not met Greg yet. Um, he's uh, reached out to me on Twitter. He's a very nice guy, um, but I don't think we would battle. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I was hoping to see some kind of like vegan bloodbath and everybody's got like oh my barbed wire bats and there's. <laughs> I'd buy a ticket to that. Right, I'd, I'd be. pay-per-view event, you can sell that. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, uh, so what did he get out of becoming the ultimate fan that, you, that you've taken from? You're like, all right, I hope this happens to me. Oh. Like, are you going to be on The Walking Dead, like, just as a background character, yeah. dead, like, we, we get that a lot. And honestly, if AMC, if they're listening, I would absolutely love to do anything that they want to do <laughs> ever. Um, we, they, no one said anything yet. I, I was actually in the fan promo for Comic-Con last year, nice. oddly enough. Um, but no, they haven't asked us to do anything yet. I'm going to cross my fingers on that. I won't, won't cancel anything out. What would you like to do? I mean, besides, like, star in a love scene with Rick and on be on the show, I'm like, oh, my God, this is hey, amazing. Hey, your boyfriend. Rick are one and the same. I don't know how our boyfriend's going to feel oh, today. Oh, I, I wouldn't do that to Michonne. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's a nice idea. Um, but I would love to be, like, any, if they, wanted, if they were like, hey, you want to be a savior, I don't care. I'll be anyone who they want me to be. Uh, preferably not a walker. That seems very uncomfortable and very hot. Could be. You, Just, know, you know, it's not the most fab life, but hey, if it gave you a chance to I wouldn't say no. Okay, it there you go. It would be my first choice. AMC, <laughs> she, she's not going to say no. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> uh, so what do you, uh, what is your recommend, for, I mean, for the people out there who might have sort of been taken aback by The Walking Dead or missed out on the, the Walking Dead train, why should people check out The Walking Dead from an ultimate fan? Um, I mean, if you, The Walking Dead, I think, has everything. It has drama. It has action. It has, you know, extreme character development. And it has no shortage of who you can connect to. There's so many different types of characters in the show. Like, I feel like you'd be hard-pressed to not find someone that you personally identify with on some level. So it gives you a lot of options. And it's a nice, lengthy series. Like, they're going to be at episode 100 at the start of season 8. You know, it's not like a short-lived show, and it's still ongoing. Yeah. So, and, and, it's, and it's an amazing fandom to be a part of. So, you know, I, I think if you if you really love entertainment, just generally speaking, The Walking Dead has a little bit of everything for you. 
So I know you you talk about some fan fiction. Is there any kind of, you know, if you could put any kind of character, uh, what kind of character would you put in there? Um, you know, I my fan fiction, I, I stick to kind of what they already have. Uh, like someone that's like uh, kind of coincides coexisting within the characters? Or? Yeah. I, you know, right now I'm actually working on, and I feel really bad about this, but I can't help myself. I'm writing a <laughs> an alternate uh, Sasha Negan fic. And uh, if, if Sasha had not killed herself, I feel like there was a lot of... Spoiler alert. God, it's just so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm so sorry. Spoilers, you guys. Um, I'm very taken with those two and what could have been developed. But in terms of like crossovers and things. Mm -hmm. That's not really my genre, but in my head, I feel like Michonne would make a fabulous Slayer if she was part of the Buffyverse. Um, mm -hmm. I'd watch it. Putting those two loves together. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, One-Eyed Carl agrees. He's excited. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, where can people find out more about your fandom and hopefully follow along with your path to the being the, the two-time, maybe? Maybe you can win again. Uh, well, I don't know about <laughs> the rules on that, but... Um, <laughs> You can find me on Facebook. I have a, a Facebook page, The Living Rashon. Um, and I also, um, what am I on Twitter? Ed Jill Roby Fangirl. And also my website is houseoffangirl.com. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming to the Twitch yeah. stage, being the ultimate Walking Dead fan. I uh, appreciate you having your pal, as always.